Cheaters have been around since gambling began in the United States. In the Old West, you had to see the cheat to catch it. And justice was swift. Today, thousands of cameras police every moment of every game. That means cheaters have to be slicker than ever. The technology just seems to be never ending. And the biggest challenge for us is to keep up with that technology. It's a high tech game of cat and mouse. But every once in a while, a criminal comes along who's able to fly completely under the radar and, in the process, changes the game forever. These men and women would justify, you know, stealing in, in all sorts of ways. The casino industry is dishonest or some other nonsense, and they would talk themselves into being okay with stealing. Keeping track of the city's most notorious cheats is the job of the Nevada Gaming Control Board. Their version of the FBI's most wanted list, called the Black Book, was created in 1960. It had six people that were originally put in it, and they were all organized crime figures. And these people were not allowed to enter any casino. But as the old mobsters died off, a new generation of tech-savvy cheats took over, and they were added to the list. You have to be a threat to the casino industry, and there's about 37 or 38 in the Black Book right now. Most are career criminals who cheated the casinos for years before being caught. Whenever you make an arrest on someone from a law enforcement standpoint, it's a success. So that's kind of how I view putting someone in the Black Book. Once you're in the book, you have the right to dispute it, but no one has ever won their way or, or litigated their way out of it. The only way you get out of the Black Book is to die. Then they take you out. <laughs> 